But before that, edible insects are often portrayed as an environmentally friendly alternative to livestock, like the production of meat. Bugs do not use up large amounts of land, water, or feed. But who is already eating them and do they actually taste any good? The BBC's Joyce Etutu has been to Kinshasa to find out. Caterpillars and insects are a popular delicacy in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The market for edible insects is forecast to reach $1.2 billion by 2023. This is Ziggina Market, one of the biggest and busiest marketplaces in Kinshasa. Shoppers here can buy anything from clothes to household items and even insects. Let's go get some. Farming a kilo of insects produces 10 to 100 times less CO2 than the same amount of meat. According to Fenor, a regular buyer, the insects are small but costly. You see this? They are fresh and they've got loads of vitamins which people love. It's also traditional food from our country, so we eat it because we love it. In Kinshasa, many places cook them. So just how do these creepy crawlies go from being in the market to a restaurant menu? I went to meet Madame Francoise the owner of Les Bambous Chez Françoise. Hi, I'm Joyce. Bonjour, c'est Madame Françoise. She let me Madame into her Bonjour. kitchen secrets. So, shall we do some cooking? Oh, ouais, je prépare comme ça. Mm -hmm. Bon. Donc, juste. Voilà. During this period, I cook all the insects which come out without a problem. So, the caterpillars, the tree works, the crickets, all the insects at this period, I cook them. Madame Françoise sells a small portion of caterpillars for 7,500 francs. That's just over $4, giving her a healthy profit margin. Despite this, she says the cost of insects have increased recently. For the caterpillars, we buy them by cup. They are about 12,000 francs. Before, they were 6,000, but now they've increased. According to Madame Françoise, the business of bugs could be a good opportunity for the DRC. They could create a society for it so that we can distribute them to other countries and explain that they feed children and adults who have health problems. That wouldn't be a bad idea. 30% of the world population feasts away on edible insects. With their low production costs and a high nutritional value, they're a great way to make an income here in DRC. And the market is set to grow. Now, I'm going to have to eat some more. Very good. Yeah, it's actually quite nice.